Miracles of Faith, welcome to my channel, Works of Faith, where we believe that everything it is possible, where we believe that our power, our faith, that is coming from our divine, our creator, source, the light, the truth, the way that we can do everything. We are powerful, where we believe that we can control anything for our good and for the good of the world. So welcome, Workers of Faith, to this channel. I welcome you and Workers of Faith. If you are new here, it is your first time seeing me or seeing this channel, please do subscribe. And if you are my retainer, thank you so much for returning and I appreciate your love and of support. In this video, I am going to talk about what I didn't know about being the child of God. Yes, child of God. We all know that God is love. God is an energy and we are the image of God. We are part of God. Yes, workers of faith. God is an energy. God exists in everything. God created everything and we are part of it. Yes, workers of faith. God is everything. is higher power. God is loving, caring and guiding us. So in this video, workers of faith, I am having that edge to share with you on how I expected God to be in my life. Yes, workers of faith. I expected so many things from God that I haven't experienced because I believe now they are delusion. So workers of faith, when I mean those things that I, I, I expected from God, they were del delusional. It is because you know when you, you grow up, when you understand about God, some parents, they don't tell you who is God. They, they tell you according to the way they understand God. And you have your own mind as a child to understand who is God. So, they tell you that God is love. When you love God, God will give you whatever that you want. When you follow God, when you attend this, God will give you whatever that you want. You will be loved. You are going to do right. You are going to be perfect. So, those are the things. Some of them, like, you are going to have a life that you want. The toys, the clothes, anything. Yes, as a child, you grow with that. And while you are growing, you are getting into teenage or before teenage stage. They are going to tell you how God will punish you if you make the mistake. And they are even going to point out there, look at that family. God is punishing them because they did this. You are starting to be able to develop the fear. Not that the fear of God that is good that we know they are being taught at the church right now. The fear that God is, God is so angry. Immediately you do a mistake because of faith. Immediately you make a mistake, you're going to start by remembering God you will make me this. God is so angry at me right now. So I need to withdraw from God because I cannot be perfect for God. How, how can I be perfect for God every day I'm making the mistakes? I make the, the things that the society, the family has told me not to do. I will get God upset and God will punish me. So I'd rather stay away. And there are so many ways or there are so many people they can express staying away from God. Some they can stay away with substance because the, there's going to be a void of God, that space that God is in their life, God is in their mind. So they want to remove that, they want to fill that void and detach God from that space and put some substances, alcohol, I'm not saying those things are wrong, but I'm just saying, for example, friends, uh, doing so many things physically, even to exercise, eating disorder, so workers of faith. This is my story, yes, I'm talking about myself and any other person, maybe that they have expected God in other ways. I'm getting to a point where I am going to share with you workers of faith on how I see God now. So when you get through all those stages from being a child, teenage, then I reached an adult stage, yes, workers of faith, that age of an adult where your mind is making sense to itself. You have to make a closure in your mind or that this is God. That stage, that's where you are going to, I, myself, I experienced that people, they are, they were giving me another God from churches, society, social media. I was giving, being given the, another God, the God that was so different, a little bit from that child God that I was taught about, that God is energy. God is so loving. God does not judge you. God is so loving. God is within you. And you are all, you are even God yourself. 
fully God because He is within you. Wow, what has of faith? The mind had to adapt. Subconscious and conscious must adapt for this. And you must even, on top of that, have faith and believe that work has of faith. Because so those theories that they are not the same. Another thing that you realize at that stage is that you have been told that God is not, like I told you, God is not, God is an energy. God is not out there, up, up there, sitting on a golden chair, waiting for you to do a mistake. And God is not angry. God is so loving. And he even made a sacrifice to show you that he loves you through his son, only son, Jesus Christ. So after experiencing that because of faith, knowing that God is an energy, God exists everywhere. God is within you. God is loving and he does not judge you. He supports you in every way. That's when you are having that interest, that edge to know about God, to know about this love, this unconditional love. That's why you are starting to, to get inside and allowing yourself to be, to be part of this. Yes, because of faith. You are allowing your soul to be part of this, to return from this light, from to this love. Yes, because of faith. That's when you're going to understand, knowing about Christ, knowing about Christ consciousness. Yes. And after that, because of faith, while you are learning, you are also understanding that you can do everything. You can have everything because God supports you. And that gives you expectations. Yes, you have expectations without thinking, the work of God on you. God has to do this to you. God has to prepare you. You are not even you are, you are not even aware of that. God has to prepare for you to, or to for you to have that by making you aware of things, by making you to grow, so that you can suit that thing that you want, so that you can align with that life that you want, that everything of yours that you believe you are going to have after knowing about God returning to God, accepting God. My expectations were because of it, they got higher and higher. Wow, I'm going to be like this. People, they don't know about this. They should have come to this or know about this. Maybe they should have been better. So those expectations that I had, I thought they were going to just drop in my life because I know that God is in energy, God is love, God is within me. So I'm just going to command and things will come and fall on my lap and on my hands. And But I didn't know that God has to remove my old self and it was a journey because of it it was tough where sometimes some people they can backslide from god it is because they they cannot stand it i am not judging anyone i was almost there because of it that why god is not for me god is working for others while god is saying be still i'm still working be still and know that i am god i'm still working through you so that you can align and be that thing that you want and have that thing that you want so that's when i was understanding god god has revealed so many effects in me because of faith and he has put it, them on the surface for me to deal with them for me to know who i was for me to learn and grow so that i cannot repeat those mistakes god cannot remove any bad thing from you without you knowing yes because of faith god will have to put that surface for you to see that any that bad thing that you say it is bad, that thing that made you human, that you did that you didn't know that it was bad for God. God is going to put it on the surface and show you that I'm healing this. I am removing this. So allow. Are you giving me your will to remove this? Because we, remember, we have been given a free will from God. So God is asking you, are you willing? So that's when you are going to go through some tough times. It is hard, your ego, it is struggling to remove this, to let go of this. Your body, your mind is struggling to to release this thing that you used to. It doesn't know what to expect after you have released this. So that's why you are saying, yes, God, remove this so that I can align with what I want. So that's what I expected so much from God. I thought the way was going to be so smooth, the way for me to, to receive, and I was just going to command and say, God, I want this, this will happen. When I didn't know that, God, when you ask this, he makes sure that you align with love. That is not a punishment. That is not an angry God. That is not God that opposing you or exposing you. Who are you? Who you have been? But it's God that is saying, I want you to see that I am loving. I have been loving you while you were having this. I am. I have been loving you while you were doing this to people or doing this. That is why I'm putting it to the surface so that you can see. So whatever that you are going through, 
Don't blame God. God is so loving. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing. Nothing will cast off faith. Even if you can do a something that you think that will make God hate you. Nothing. Nothing. And God is not surprised of your mistakes. God understands. God is not surprised at all because of faith, of your behavior, of your action. But that doesn't mean you have to continue to do that and say, God is not surprised. I can live the way I want. No. Because of faith. So, this is how I expected God and how I got disappointed in my journey of life. Because of faith, I got so disappointed and angry at life. Sometimes at God. Because I said, God, I expected you're going to do this for me. My life will be smooth. I will not be embarrassed or ashamed. Yes, because of faith. While I was experiencing all of those embarrassment, shame, leg, anything that you know that we say that it is off the low vibration because of faith. I have experienced it after I decided to be the child of God. After I've gone back to God to say that, God, I am surrendering to you. I'm willing to be your child. I'm willing to, to do anything that you want me to do. So the expectations came. That's what people now, they are struggling. People, they go to God or they go to churches or they do spiritual things in expectation of getting what they want. Forgetting that they are lost. Forgetting that God is truth. God cannot go against who he is. He cannot give you something that he knows that you are not deserving at this time. You will deserve everything, but at this time, you are not deserving in it because you are going to lose it. Even it, it cannot even come to you, that thing, because you are not at the right stage. So, workers of faith, that's what I didn't know about God, being a child of God, being there and understanding about God and willing to be or returning to God. Yes, workers of faith. I didn't know. I didn't know that I will have to go through pages. I will have to go through some tough times that you are going to say yourself, this is the end of me. The journey of being the child of God is infinity. As God himself is infinity, it, it will never end. We will always learn. We will always have to let God be God. This it is his will on planet Earth. Yes, because of faith. Let his will be done on Earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, because of faith, for watching this video up to this far. Please do like this video, because of faith. I hope I gave you a little bit of help, because of faith. Please do subscribe, because of faith, if you haven't subscribed. And also click the notification button so that you can be notified when i upload a new video and please don't forget to like this video yes support me because of faith and you will be blessed